airlines have seen drastic declines in the number of passengers thanks to a COVID-related travel ban. But there was some heightened activity for seats this morning. People looking to get on a plane before transport restrictions to and from Metro Manila kick in. Gerard De La Peña has the details. Dozens of passengers trooped to airline ticketing offices Friday morning after learning of the community quarantine to be implemented in Metro Manila starting March 15. Most of them want to immediately get on a plane to avoid the suspension of flights to and from Naia. One passenger said her flight back to Dumaguete from a seminar in Baguio was set on Monday. She's worrying how she'll be able to sustain herself in Metro Manila if she gets stranded. Natatakot po kami kasi baka abutin kami ng one month, wala na kaming budget. Another passenger opted to reschedule his flight. Gusto ko sana bukas na kasi mag-lockdown na daw, hindi na pwedeng lumabas ng Maynila. Kaya... Ah, okay. Bakit ka uuwi? Kasi para makaligtas sa, ano, sa coronavirus. <laughs> While there's no formal announcement yet if domestic flights will be cancelled, according to Philippine Airlines and Air Asia, rebooking, refund, or changing of destination is free of charge. We're seeking their kind understanding because uh, they would like to manage their flights. But we will surmount this. Our staff are fully deployed on all fronts. Cebu Pacific, on the other hand, is not allowing refunds, saying passengers could instead store it as credit to use on another flight. But there's no assurance that passengers will be accommodated in the next immediate flights. Kung ano na lang po yung natira doon sa naupuan, yun na lang po yung uh, naibigay doon sa mga pasaherong uh, who wanted to rebook for their flights. International flights, meanwhile, are still allowed to land and take off from Naia pending clearer guidelines. Airlines are also advising passengers who want to go back to their provinces to explore flights from Clark International Airport. For News 5, Gerard de la Peña, we are One News.